Hey guys, real quick, on a LS460, I just want to explain to you guys how these clips go. So, the reason that I had the rattle was because on one of the brake pads, you see this, you see this um, clip in the bottom? This one here? So this was missing. And there's these clips that go in right there and underneath and then over. And what that does is it gives you like a, almost like a little spongy effect, like a spring effect, so that the pad doesn't rattle inside the housing, like up and down, like what I was getting, it was rattling up and down this, like this, and it was causing, up against the caliper, and it was causing like this, uh, the most annoying rattle sound. I could not figure it out, I thought it was control arms or something else, and it was actually just these, these pads. So I wanna show you, that's the first thing, the, the first clips that you put in, okay? So the second set of clips that you put in is this right here. This goes on the bottom, okay, like that. You just squeeze it, and then it goes into these holes here on each side. And then on top, there's a clip just like the one on the bottom, like this. Okay, so what this does is it separates the pads on the top and on the bottom evenly so that you don't get warp rotors, warp pads after a while. If you just put it on the bottom, it's going to separate the pads at the bottom, but at the top it won't all the way. So you'll get more wear on the top parts of the pad than on the bottom. And then self-explanatory, these are the, the long rods that actually hold the pads in place. And then this guy right here goes into a hole there around these pins on the bottom, around the sensor wire, around that low, lower pin, and then into the little hole right there in that brake pin. Then the last thing, the clip, this clip here, you see this one? It clips in like that. So it clips in from the back. First you put it onto the actual sensor, then you clip it onto the back part, and then it it clips onto the front like this and then that way it won't go anywhere right a lot of people are using like glue silicon but that's the way that it should go now here's the thing when i was doing this uh this pin was missing and the and the um brake pad pin was missing so you can buy a kit like this hw13543 so on eBay, the original kits are selling for about, I think they're like $40 from Toyota or from Lexus, but this was only like $15 or $20. The dealer wanted $100, $90 to $100 for these kits. So last but not least, this guy right here, can you see? There's a hole right there and right there. It goes in on top of everything. So this is the last piece that you put in. Um, other than that, guys, it's super easy. You got two bolts right there. That's the first bolt. And then that's the second one. You take that out. Um, I believe they're 19 millimeter. And then you put a uh, PB blaster around here and in these holes. Hit the, hit the um, rotor here, 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 and here, and it'll actually come right off.